In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The Lord be with you. Good morning. And welcome to all those joining us online. The first reading is from the first letter of St. John. Um, in the letter, he addresses his hearers and us as children of God. And he suggests that we'll be judged on whether we love or not. The Gospel. Jesus is wandering past John the Baptist by the River Jordan near Bethany. And John the Baptist says, Look, there's the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. A reference perhaps to the suffering servant from one of the songs of the prophet Isaiah. And the two disciples follow Jesus. And he turns round and he says, What do you want? Um, and eventually they go and spend the day with him. One of them is Andrew. And Andrew goes and tells his brother, we found the Messiah. And he brings his brother to Jesus, who renames Simon Cephas, Rock. So we begin Mass, praying that we might be open to the true identity of Jesus. And praying that we too might live as disciples today. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. And rather than just say the Gloria, perhaps Chris could help lead us on Father, we love you. Father, we love you, we praise you, we adore you. Glorify your name in all the Let us pray. O oh God, who in the blessed childbearing of the Holy Virgin Mary kept the flesh of your Son free from the sentence incurred by the human race, grant, we pray, that we who have been taken up into this new creation may be freed from the ancient taint of sin 
through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the first letter of St. John. You know that God is righteous. Then you must recognize that everyone whose life is righteous has been begotten by him. Think of the love that the Father has lavished on us by letting us be called God's children. And that is what we are. Because the world refused to acknowledge him, therefore it does not acknowledge us. My dear people, we are already the children of God, but what we are to be in the future has yet to be revealed. All we know is that when it is revealed, we shall be like him, because we shall see him as he really is. Surely everyone who entertains this hope must purify himself, must try to be as pure as Christ. Anyone who sins at all breaks the law, because to sin is to break the law. Now you know that he appeared in order to abolish sin, and that in him there is no sin, and anyone who sins has never seen him or known him. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. All the ends of the earth have seen the salvation of our God. All the ends of the earth have seen the salvation of our God. Sing a new song to the Lord, for he has worked wonders. His right hand and his holy arm have brought salvation. All the ends of the earth have seen the salvation of our God. All the ends of the earth have seen the salvation of our God. Shout to the Lord, all the earth, ring out your joy. All the ends of the earth have seen the salvation of our God. Sing psalms to the Lord with the harp, with the sound of music. With trumpets and with the sound of the horn, acclaim the King, the Lord. All the ends of the earth have seen the salvation of our God. Gospel acclamation. Alleluia, alleluia. A hallowed day has dawned upon us. Come, you nations, worship the Lord. For today a great light has shone down upon the earth. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. The next day, seeing Jesus coming towards him, John said, Look, there is the Lamb of God that takes away the sin of the world. This is the one I spoke of when I said, a man is coming after me who ranks before me because he existed before me. I did not know him myself. And it was to reveal him to Israel that I came baptizing with water. John also declared, I saw the Spirit coming down on him from heaven like a dove and resting on him. I did not know him myself. But he who sent me to baptize with water had said to me, the man on whom you see the Spirit come down and rest is the one who is going to baptize with the Holy Spirit. Yes, I have seen, and I am the witness, that he is the Chosen One of God. The Gospel of the Lord. Apologies. 
I gave you half of tomorrow's read gospel as well as today's. This is Martin Hogan. Some of the words of scripture have become a fixed part of the language of the church's liturgy. The opening words of today's gospel reading are a good example of that. The words of John the Baptist. Look, there is the Lamb of God that takes away the sin of the world. Are more or less the words the celebrant speaks at Mass just before communion when he holds up the host. Our response to those words at Mass, Lord, I am not worthy, is a version of the words spoken by the centurion to Jesus when Jesus offered to go to his house to heal his servant. That story is not found in John's Gospel, but in the Gospels of Matthew and Luke. The liturgy has brought together two sets of words from the Gospels that originally had no connection with each other. These two sets of words are in a way quite contrasting. John the Baptist is pointing out Jesus to his own disciples and saying to them, Look, there's the Lamb of God. Go to him. The centurion is saying to Jesus, Don't come to me because I'm unworthy. Both sets of words express a truth. We're all unworthy of the Lord's coming to us, and yet we're invited not only to receive the Lord when he comes, but to take the initiative to go to him and to direct others to him. Our unworthiness is not an obstacle to the Lord's relating to us or our relating to him. The Lord does not ask us to be worthy. He asks us to be open to him and to keep seeking him out like the followers of John the Baptist. So we pray. We pray that we might be open to the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Lord, in your mercy, We pray for all who are struggling at this time, perhaps particularly those who don't have work to, to return to tomorrow. Pray for refugees everywhere and especially in our country. Lord, in your mercy. We pray for the people of Ukraine and for all who are suffering because of this senseless war. We pray particularly for those on both sides on the front line. Lord, in your mercy. Pray for our church at this time of transition. Pray for Pope Francis as he prepares to celebrate the funeral of his predecessor, the first Pope ever to do so. And we pray for all who are organizing the funeral, that it might be marked by the noble simplicity that Pope Benedict wanted. Lord, in your mercy. Pray for all who work in the NHS and in care homes. Pray for all those who live in care homes. Lord, in your mercy. Pray for all who are sick. Especially remember Evelyn Walsh and Richard Johnson in the Vic. Pray for Lydia Reed in the Western General. Pray for Carol Simpson, hoping to get out of the royal today. Remember John Cregan in Haddington Community Hospital. Pray for Sheila White, Eddie's mum. For Kim O'Neill. For Sam Burns and Mary Cole. And Tommy Muir. Pray for Katie McEnany and Mike and Rita Noonan. For baby Tommy and for Alex Cranston. Pray for Anne Carruthers and for young Aisha Montgomery. 
Pray for baby Tommy. Lord, in your mercy. We pray for all who've died. Especially in this Mass, we remember Peggy Kearney on her anniversary, and likewise Harry Vackenbeekler. Pray for Mary Cowell and all who've died recently. Remember Ernie Moran and David Yanarelli. Pray for Jean Nelson and Jean Bonner. Remember Winnie Casey and Yolanda Valante, whose funerals are next week. Remember Kathleen Nangle and Evelyn Oldershaw. Pray for Maureen Henderson and for Ron McRae. Remember Bart and Helen and Gerald and Daphne and Wynn Clarkin. Pray for Len and Jim and Jimmy and for Nula. We commend them all to the tenderness of our God. Lord, in your mercy. In silence, we offer the prayers of our own heart. Lord, in your mercy. And we ask Mary to be close to us all. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. And we ask our prayers through Christ our Lord. Amen. Pray, my friends, at our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Receive with favor, O Lord, we pray, the offerings of your people, that what they profess with devotion and faith may be theirs through these heavenly mysteries. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your heart. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It's truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, from the mystery of the Word made flesh, a new light of your glory has shone upon the eyes of our mind, so that as we recognize in him God made visible, we may be caught up through him in love of things invisible. So with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. 
Make holy therefore these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that we become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. The time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Saviour of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you've held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring it to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope and Leo our Bishop, the clergy and all who minister in your name. Remember your servant Peggy, whom you've called from this world to yourself. Grant that she who is united with your son in death you also be one with him in his resurrection. Remember also Julie Forbes and Sally O'Connor and Sister Rosemary and Len Kirkland and Father Andrew Hughes and Catherine Walker and Sally Stone and Jude Payne and Arthur Bryan and Senior Ray Jay McGuire and Mark Lee and George Larum and all our brothers and sisters who've fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who've died in your mercy welcome them into the light of your face have mercy on us all we pray that with the blessed Virgin Mary mother of God with blessed Joseph her spouse with the Apostles, St. John the Evangelist, St. Mary Magdalene, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honour is yours for ever and ever. The Saviour's invitation, we pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you, not on our sins, 
but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign for ever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let's share the peace of Christ. Peace with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Take away the sins of the world. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
Let us pray. O oh God, who touch us through our partaking of your sacraments, work, we pray, the effects of its power in our hearts, that we may be made fit to receive your gift through this very gift itself, through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Almighty God bless us, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Go in the peace of Christ.